listen at my call When I met that little girl Knew that I would fall Poor little fool Oh yeah I was a fool Okay, one of the things I wanted to share was uh, I took my watts up meter that I had set up to collect watts over a nine hour periods, set it up for one second capture, and do it on my uh, forced air natural gas furnace. Over the course of the day yesterday, from the <clears throat> time we got up for the setback thermostat kicked in and started to heat the house up in the morning here and show the profile through the day here. So you can see it uh, around 5 o'clock in the morning it came and spiked and I'll zoom in on this uh, in a second came down the normal running wattage was 500 watts and then it dropped down ran a little bit longer and then quit and then uh, the cycle repeats and then as the house warmed up, the cycles got shorter. Now if I zoom in on any, uh, let's just zoom on the, on, on the second one here. You can see what happens. <coughs> the uh, furnace is off, so zero watts. Then initially when the thermostat kicks in to say, hey, I need some heat, First thing that comes on is a little uh, fan or blower that comes on, and while the uh, the uh, natural gas comes on and starts to preheat the furnace, there's a little electricity that's used to force the exhaust air up the vent pipe. Then when the main box is warmed up, the main blower comes on, and that's where you get this big spike here. That's uh, over 800 watts just for a few seconds. Comes down, but the nat normal running wattage is just about 500 watts. And uh, there'll be a point where the thermostat says, "Okay, shut off the uh, gas. Um, we're up to temperature." And so the gas will be shut off, and so the the exhaust blower associated with it will shut off. And then the main the blower just for taking any of the residual heat that's in the furnace will keep running until the uh, temperature sensor within the furnace real says that the uh, exhaust temperature coming uh, into the house here is cool enough we can shut off the main blower and then it drops back down. So you can see the nice thing about this is you can kind of tell these different facets. You can measure how much time each of them last and you get a good sense of the profile of a normal cycle. So you can do this on a number of your appliances, kind of get a good understanding of how they work and what looks normal. And you can also figure out how many uh, watts or amp hours they're using while they're doing their cycling. So it was a successful test. I just thought I'd share that. What's uh, another idea that you can use this uh, device for is if you wanted to compare, let's say, uh, this, ref this furnace to another one or one refrigerator to the next, you can actually go and do the measurements over the course of a day and then you can really see what, how they perform and not necessarily take the uh, the salesman's word for it if you're really concerned about the wattage and the, and the kilowatt hours that a particular appliance is going to use. I was a fool.